Hi guys, again, I just went live on my regular page. I knew I was gonna do that one of these days. Hopefully I'm on my group. Let me make sure. I saw my uncle's name pop up and I know he's not on my business, on my pink buckaroo group. And I thought, oh my gosh. Okay, good, I can see you. Whew. All right, I don't know, that stresses me out. Hello, I hope you guys, if my, my Stampin' Up! friends, I hope you jumped over here to find me. That's a really weird feeling, you guys, when you go live in the wrong place, let me tell you, It's very awkward. It's all right. Okay, so I'm sharing. Um, so I'm early today. <laughs> I don't know, Melody, this is gonna throw me off for the rest of the day, I think. Um, I am um, early this week, my kids are off tomorrow, and Facebook Live does not happen very well at my house when my kids are here. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do this summer. Um, there's dogs that go crazy, there's kids coming to the door, it's like crazy town. So that's why I am coming live on Thursday. Um, and I was trying to come maybe like five minutes early, but well, I screwed that up. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I wanna start off today showing you guys, um, and now I see your comments. Hello, everybody. Thanks for signing. Gina, I thought you weren't going to be able to make it today. Um, I want to be able to show you some of the um, things I have for May. I worked real hard this week to get everything um, finalized for May. Um, so I thought I would take the first five or ten minutes and kind of show you what I've got to offer. May's a weird time um, for us because the it's the last month of that annual catalog and we're all kind of finishing up trying to get our uh, retired things before they they run out and then we're excited about the new catalog. So it's always kind of a weird time to, um, to do classes. But hey, Sarah. Hi, Betty. Um, so I last May did um, what I call mini classes um, and they were, they worked really well for me. Um, so and, I, and they, I, you guys seem to like them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm once again in a tiny little spot with no room. Um, I'm once again gonna do what I'm calling two mini classes. Um, basically, they're gonna both have the same deadline and they will ship together. That way you can save on shipping. I call them mini classes because they only have four projects. Typically I do between five and six projects, but these I do just four. Um, for me, when I have a deadline of a class, it takes me several days to cut for that class. So to cut and pack and ship and do all that. So when I have two together, um, hi Emery, hi Kimberly, hi everybody. Um, when I have two at the same time, I have to keep them a little bit simpler. That way I can cut all of them in the time frame that I give myself. It's always a week. I want to get them in the mail um, for a week. So they're mini classes um, and they, have less options. So let me just show you the first one. And the first one features Message in a Bottle, which is this really super cute set that I truly fell in love with as soon as I saw it. It's very summery. My brain is already thinking summer, so I'm calling this kickoff to summer. Um, it's this really cute, whimsical, this is my kind of stamp set, cutesy, fun. Um, and so with that, I designed five cards. Um, but in your make and take kit, you'll only get four. The, um, there's a little sneak peek of some stuff to come. Um, so you'll get these four, they're all upside down, these four make and takes with a bonus tutorial in the PDF. Um, so the options are for this class is option one, where's my, my cheat sheet? Option number one is includes a stamp set. If you already have that stamp set, you can sub out any stamp set you want that's the same value or more. We'll, you can read the details on my blog about how we, we'll handle all that. Option two is PDF only. So usually I do an option without the stamp set, but with these two classes, I'm not. But if you already have that stamp set, you can sub whatever you want in place of it, as long as it'll fit in those padded envelopes that I use. Um, so that's $28. Stamp sets, four make and takes, full color, PDF that has five projects. All right, so that is, oh, and then of course my downline gets it for $8. Always my downline get it for a bargain. Um, and then class number two is Lemon Zest. 
And if Robin, I don't think I have seen Robin pop up, but Robin, my downline, she fell in love with this when it first came out and I laughed and I said, I don't know if I can get on board with that, but let me tell you, I love it. I have um, created five really cute, fun summary, in my mind, I think they look summary, projects. So this um, class will include the stamp set and the punch. This is the lemon builder punch. And let me show you those projects. It too will have four make and takes and the PDF will have a bonus fifth project. So I did this one. I felt like this one kind of lent itself to some 3D projects. So we have one here. And then we have this one with a little flip thing on it. And I tell you, I got all kinds of lemon flavored stuff, you guys. So it's all in the PDF. Um, and then two little cute cards. Okay, so those will be the four make and takes you get. And then the bonus project is this in the PDF. All right, so that option is $44 because it includes a stamp and the punch. If you already have the stamp and the punch, but you want the make and takes in the PDF, then you can sub, again, anything that you'd like in its place um, of same value or higher. I will send you an invoice if there's a difference. Um, both of those, the only other option is the PDF. PDF only, $15. If you want just the PDFs and you want both of them, you can get both of them for $25. That's a $5 savings when you bundle them. Uh, let's see, the deadline is May 19th for these. Um, they will close together and I will ship them together a week later. I, I always get them in the mail by one week later. Um, now, if you get both, you're gonna save on shipping because they both, I ship everything in a priority padded envelope, $7. So if you were to buy these separately, it's gonna cost you, you know, it would cost $7. But if you get them together, it's still only gonna cost you $7 to ship. So you're saving $7 shipping. And I'm gonna include a cute little um, embellishment or something, some kind of product for you there um, as a thank you gift if you get both. I'm not telling you what it is, it's a surprise, um, but it'll come as a gift with your classes. Okay, so those are the classes, my two to-go classes for May. Lemon Zest, Message in a Bottle, I'm calling them Kicking Off the Summer or Kick Off the Summer. You'll find it. Um, actually, there's I posted it on my blog already. Well, I didn't post it. On the bottom of the post, there's a link to my calendar page where I have it listed. It's also on this PDF I'm going to tell you about in a second. That is on the blog post that went live right now. Hopefully, it went live. Um, Okay, so let's see, I told you about that. Um, seems like there was something I wanted to tell you about that too. Oh, to register, you have to email me and ask me for that registration link. Stampin' Up! Policy, I cannot list the link anywhere. I can only email it to you. So if you wanna register for those classes, email me. The PDF links, the PDF only links are there. So you can click on those and buy that PDF immediately. Okay, so that is my classes to go. There's also gonna be bingo. The, and shortly, I've got a really quick turnaround on this. I've had trouble getting um, the venue that I have, um, bingo at, I had trouble getting it um, to, anyway, email issues. Um, so it's, it's coming, that information is gonna come out soon. I just finalized that with them about an hour ago. So bingo's coming, there will be online bingo also. Discount for both um, projects, you mean for both classes, Betty? Yes, you only pay shipping, $7 for, for all of it together and you get a free goodie. Um, the second, so bingo's coming, details for that is coming. The third thing I wanna tell you about is the Share What You Love Suite. You've probably heard about this or seen it. This is a pre-order from the catalog, the new catalog that's coming. And all of us who were able to get it early have truly just fallen in love with it. It's adorable. There are going to be three different options in here. This is gonna come May 1st. Oh, I had printed out the PDF I was gonna show you. This is coming May 1st, and there's three bundle options. I'll post all these details on May, but what I want you to know is that if you buy this in May from me, you're gonna get a PDF for free that has 10 projects in it using all of this. And I'm also gonna be offering the option for some make and takes with those two. So keep that in mind. Look for those details on May 1st. Um, it's a ton of stuff. I probably will do a whole live 
Here's one of the projects. They're just beautiful. I probably will do a whole live um, on Tuesday with all of that information, but we can't, we can't order it right now. I just wanted to give you a heads up that that's coming. Free PDF plus the May All-Star Tutorial Bundle PDF that I send out. In fact, I made a note. I am behind on that. If you've ordered from me in the last week, I haven't sent them. I'll do it today. Okay. Do, do, do. I think that was it. So that's what's coming in May. This kickoff to summer bingo and share what you love sweet. Okay. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I see all of you commenting and I'm trying to like complete my thoughts without interrupting and saying stuff. Um, one other thing that's coming in May is the, the new catalogs will start shipping in May. So as a demonstrator, I can order the catalogs May 2nd and then they'll come to me about a week later and then it takes me a while to get them labeled, packed, I put something inside of them, ad addresses, all that. So that's coming in May. Look for your catalog if you've ordered from me um, towards the end of May. If you are a Stamp Club to Go member, however, you will get it first. You'll be the first to get it. And yours will be spiral bound like this. So if you want a spiral bound catalog, now is the time to join my Stamp Club to Go. I have to have everybody finalized by Monday, April 30th, if you want one of these. Um, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says Stamp Club to Go. You can click on it, read the information. Um, it's a really good deal. You order with me um, every month for six months. I send you three completed projects, a spiral bound catalog, and one month you get stamp rewards where you get to get stuff for free. So it's a great deal. But um, only people who are on my roster in May, we'll get the spiral bound catalog. So make sure you check that out. Thank you for sharing, Carrie. Yes, if you guys will share the video, that does help me and I do have prizes for that. Um, let's talk about prizes. Last week I had two people who uh, I chose randomly for sharing the video, Ellie and Susan. I have both of your mailing addresses. So I'm gonna be sending you bolts of ribbon this week. Thank you for sharing. So make sure that you share because this week, I've got Tutti Fruity sequins, and I'll pick two random people to share, um, to win, who share the video. So please share the video. Um, now, I had the big prize last week, two big prizes, um, postscript, um, Christine Shannon, you're the winner of that, and I have emailed you already, and then I was giving away a uh, April paper pumpkin, and that's going to Tina Burton. So Tina, I've emailed you too. Please give me your, your address, ladies, and I will get these out quickly. Okay, so prizes, those were prizes last week. This week are prizes. I give away prizes every week, you guys, so it's always good to join. Two hostess sets. I've got background bits. I don't even own this myself, and I was like, ah, I need to get that. And Dare to Dream, which I love, and that's so cute. Two hostess exclusive sets. So the way that you can win these is go to my blog, enter the raffle copter, it's a little widget at the bottom, and then it picks two random people for me next Thursday and I'll let you know next Friday. Hi Christine, there you are, um, who the winners are, okay? And for sharing, I had something for people who share and now I, oh no, I told you, it was the Tutti Fruity sequence. Okay, so share the video and enter. There's two different ways to win. Um, you're welcome, Ellie. Two ways to win um, prizes. Now, if you have never joined me for Facebook Live, which is normally Facebook Friday, um, my make and takes that we're gonna do here in a second, I will send them to you for free with a $30 order using the hostess code. Um, that hostess code can be found, you'll see it here in a minute when I turn the camera over. It's also on the project sheets, which look like this which are on my blog under the last photograph. You click on that link and it's got all the measurements. It's got all the products listed that I use and it's got details on those things I talked about at the beginning. So go over to pinkfuckroo.com and you'll find these. Um, so that hostess code right there is the one that you would use. $30 minimum will get you free, the three free make and takes. Here are the ones from last week. I already mailed them all out. Thank you everyone. And I'm continuing, let me get my giant box. I'm continuing my celebration extended. You guys remember the big box? Believe it or not, I actually sent out about 20 things from here this week and it's still really full. So I need you guys to get them for free. 
I don't want to sell them. I just want to send them to you for free. Any orders with that hostess code that is over $50, I will email you and ask you what, what would you like for free to come with your make and takes. Um, what was I going to say about that? There's an album here on the group page. I pinned it to the top that has a picture of everything that, that's in there so you can kind of look and see what you would like. Okay, last thing, I'm going to share with you a card that came from my downline, Antoinette. She's so funny. I don't know if she is watching, but we did a swap, a team swap. I showed you the swaps last week, and I only did two groups, and she was in the third group, and I fell in love with her card, and she sent it to me in the mail. I was so sad because I didn't get it. Look at this card, you guys. Look at this. So much work. So Antoinette, this is like a framer. I, she sent it to me all nice with a pretty envelope and everything, but guess what? I'm not giving this one away. This one's going up somewhere because it's fancy. So thank you, Antoinette. If you're watching, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so now comes the awkward part where I have to move the camera over. So if you get car sick, please cover your eyes. And I'm going to try to cover it up with my finger. If I accidentally end the video, you guys, which might happen. I'll start again in a new video, okay? Hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna flip it. You guys can see my punches over there and then I'm gonna just get it off. I usually can get it covering my finger. How weird, right? Such a weird thing. All right, so now you guys are coming up here. I'm gonna clip you in. This is where I always worry I'm gonna hang up on you. My new phone is almost too big for my holder. All right, okay. Looks like we're in. Let's see if I can get you straight. Put this down. Here's the hostess code for this week. Can you guys see it? I don't want it to be too in the way. Am I straight? I always cringe when I see my videos rolling through my Facebook feed and it's all crooked. I hate that. So let me know. Can you guys see what we're making today? We're using the Magical Day. Hi, Denise. We're using the Magical Day bundle. This is in the Occasions catalog. And I still feel like this is too much in the way. Let me move this up. Um, this bundle is retiring, which I am pretty shocked about because it is really popular and really unique, different than what we've had. So you guys aren't telling me. I see your hearts. Okay, but tell me, is it straight? Are you guys seeing everything okay? How does the camera look? Do I need to turn it? Okay, it's delayed. Hi, Trisha. Good, I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited too. I actually have to tell you that I designed these about six weeks ago. And I loved them. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to use these for Facebook Live because I think I can make a whole class out of this. Um, and then time went on and I just never got around to it. So here we are back at Facebook Friday. So I'm glad that we're getting them. I just didn't have time to do a class. It's blurry. Uh-oh. How do we make it not blurry? I don't know. Good. You guys, I'm glad you're telling me. Okay, let's see. If I put something up, will it focus? It doesn't look blurry here through my camera. I'm wondering if it's my internet. Yeah, it's probably my internet. Let's give it a second. Oh, the joys. There. Okay, it looks less blurry to me. Okay, let's give it, let's just move on because I do think that's probably an internet issue because I can see it on my phone and it's not blurry. When I reload it today, later in the HD, it'll look better. Okay, so let's get started. So this box, I don't know if you can tell what's in it. It's a bath bomb. And my girls are quite obsessed with bath bombs. They look like this. You've probably seen them. My oldest daughter likes Lush, which is a very overly priced bath store, basically. But <laughs> Bath and Body Works has started carrying them, and they have this whole mermaid line right now, and I grabbed that. I grabbed several of them, actually, and the girls have already used the other two. So that's what's in here. I think they make a great gift. I did them um, as one of my teacher appreciation gifts last year. So I thought, we need to make a fancy box for that bath bomb. Now let's make the box first. You're gonna need this framelit. This is the, I always call it the wrong thing. Let me look at my notes. Lots of love box framelits. I think that doesn't even sound right. This is over with the Valentine stuff. Do you guys remember the Valentine stuff? You're gonna need to cut four of them. Find my Simply Scored. You're gonna need to cut four, which I have already done. And we're gonna score each one. Oh, and this is Wisteria Wonder. 
which is retiring. Pretty much everything I'm using today is retiring. Pretty much all of it. Um, so you're going to score each of these at two and a half. Make sure you have that flat bottom against your left side. Um, so a few things have already sold out. It's been a little bit slower this year, the sellout of retired products. And I think that's because... They haven't discounted them yet, but coming May 2nd, I have a feeling they're gonna discount some of it. So if you want any of this, don't hesitate. All right, so now on each one, we are going to cut off one whole side, and then we're gonna cut there at that horizontal score line and cut the bottom part off, and then cut that tab off just a little bit at an angle. All right, so I probably should have done this ahead of time too, but. We'll just talk about how this is retiring while I cut. I'm gonna do two at a time, hopefully not screw them up. Um, I've noticed, I went and checked. I was super worried that these framelits were gonna be sold out by the time I did this today. Um, the stamp set is guaranteed through May 25th. They will guarantee the stamp sets, but they don't guarantee any of the, the tools. Oh, I gotta do one at a time. They won't guarantee any of the tools or embellishments. Um, or accessories or anything. Uh, so if you haven't gotten this set and you feel like this is really gonna be something that you use, make sure that you get it and use the hostess code and that way you'll get um, a free celebration item because I think it would take you over the 50 probably. And, um, and you'll get make and takes. All right, so we've done all four. So now we need our fast fuse. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, we're gonna cut the window here. Let me pull out my framelits. I need a trash can here today for all of this, and I don't have one. I wanted to create a little window in so that you can see the bath bomb, because I think that's really what makes this, this little treat kind of magical. So I'm gonna take just one of these and put it down here on my Big Shot, and I'm using just a layering, frame, layering circle framelit. And I think it's about two inches. I don't know exactly which one it is. Now we're gonna make also a frame to go around it. And this is Sweet Sugar Plum. And Sweet Sugar Plum is one of our in colors that is going away. It's retiring also. So if you like Sweet Sugar Plum, snag it up. Sweet Sugar Plum reminds me kind of of the 80s. It's a color I think my mother, this is your favorite, what did you say? This was my favorite thing in the Cajun catalog. Really, Sarah? Sweet uh, Sugar Plum, when it came out two years ago, reminded me of the 80s because it looks like mauve. <laughs> you guys remember in, well, maybe the 90s. I feel like my mom had a lot of mauve things in our house. All right, so if you like your fine tip glue pen, this is where you would use it. I am not a fan of liquid glue because I'm a, a hot mess when I use it. So I'm just gonna use some glue dots, some mini glue dots, which will hide right nicely right behind those scallops. And I probably didn't even say that while I was cutting that, I put a scallop circle around that circle and we just used that part. We're throwing this away or using it for something else. All right, now to close that window, we're using a window sheet and we want that window sheet to fit between these three score lines. Let's make sure, yep, I cut it right, yay. Um, just to let you guys know, I have started recording clean versions of these tutorials and putting them on my YouTube channel. So in case you wanna find this tutorial later, it's over there on YouTube. And I actually filmed those this morning, got those out of the way, and I'll need to edit them this weekend. All right, now let's put our box together. Um, I always like to make the window the second one, I don't wanna have it on the end. So I'm gonna start by putting some fast fuse right there, or tear and tape, whichever adhesive you like. Just don't use snail, cause it will fall right apart, especially with that heavy bath bomb in there. And speaking of bath bombs, you know, I was thinking, their bath bombs come in so many different color combinations, and they all have funny names usually. My daughter was looking at some at Target this week. So you could really adapt this for, you know, any bath bomb that you wanted, just using the colors of the bath bomb. 
All right, so now we've turned it over and if we fold it in half like that, it's gonna line up perfectly right here. All right. And there we go. So now we have the box construction. Let's fold these tabs in. I always like to make the one that's in the front the last tab to fold in so that you have that smooth edge. So let's fold those side ones in first. And I'm gonna put some fast views on the third tab. Be generous with your adhesive on this because, oh, I didn't line those up very well. Be generous on, the, on your adhesive because the bath bombs, like I said, are heavy. You don't want it to fall out. There we go. All right, so now there's our box. I don't have any more bath bombs to put in here. I'd like to have one to put in there for you, but like I said, my girls stole it. All right, now just take your 1 8 inch punch and let's see, let me cut a new piece of ribbon. This is also retiring. How many times? I wonder how many times I'm going to say retiring today. This is the Sweet Sugar Plum striped ribbon. I'm going to feed it through both of those holes. And. tie a bow. And you know what? I'm just thinking right now, Teacher Appreciation Week is coming up. I think it's the, the week of the 7th. I don't know if that's official or if that's just here, but that's when we do it. Um, and I really need to start planning that. But, you know, hey, now I'll have two of these. And I think that would be great. I could send them a cute little bath bomb. Okay, let's see. Let's stamp our cute little mermaid. I'm going to watercolor her today. And so when you watercolor, you need to use either stays on or uh, archival black. You have daughters that like to steal things too. Nicole, yeah, I know. My oldest daughter is really starting to get bad about that. <laughs> if my mom's on here, she would say, oh, karma, because I remember getting in a lot of trouble for doing that too. She's stealing a lot of stuff. Not stealing, stealing, but you know, let's say borrowing. I couldn't find my headphones. Um, this is Berry Burst and this is an aqua painter, by the way. I couldn't find my headphones for like two weeks and I was really upset because I have a new phone, um, the new iPhone. You have to use that special adapter for the headphones. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And I was mad because it had that adapter attached to it. Well, lo and behold, I found it in the cabinet where she puts her laptop way in the back. And I was like, oh, well, that's just interesting, isn't it? She did apologize, but you know, teenagers, she's 15. She's a good girl for the most part. I shouldn't complain. All right, very burst. Um, when, you're, when you're watercoloring something that is small like this, you want to use less water, um, which I usually have a problem with. I forget and then I just go crazy and then water's everywhere. So use just a little bit of your water, kind of dry your brush over on a paper towel. This is Blushing Bride and Blushing Bride is very pink. So when you're doing a skin tone with Blushing Bride, you need to go light on that. All right, now her hair. And I'm gonna use Daftil Delight. I always gravitate to the blonde hair because my three little blondies, but you could do a mermaid's hair any color. I think they, you could get away with using any color you'd like. All right, there's the mermaid. The other thing I need to stamp is the cute little why well, I cannot remember what these are called. I keep forgetting the cute little horse. What is it called? <laughs> I can't remember. I keep wanting to call it a starfish. Oh, I need Wisteria Wonder. The seahorse. Seahorse. Why can't I remember that name? In my video earlier today, I was just kind of at a loss. Seahorse, seahorse, seahorse. He's real cute. And he's going to be Wisteria Wonder to match the box. There we go. Okay, now let's cut it all out. And you know what, before we do that, we need to give her a little, a little shine, a little shimmer. So a little wink of Stella all over her. 
All right. Now, here are the framelits that you get with this collection. I'm gonna cut two of these little plants, and there's the, the seahorse, and there is the mermaid. So let's get this all lined up. Oh, come on. Seahorse, seahorse, I know. I don't know why it keeps slipping my mind. I keep wanting to call a starfish. Silly how things get stuck in our minds. All right, now these little guys like to jump around on the magnetic platform, so don't fight it. Just move your paper to wherever it wants to jump to. Two of these is from Lemon Lime Twist. And here we go. There's a, their mermaid and our <clears throat> little seahorse <laughs> and our, well, let me move this out of the way so that I actually have room to work. And our little, I don't want to call it seaweed, our sea plants. Seaweed sounds negative. <laughs> Nobody wants to touch seaweed when they're in the ocean. All right, so we're gonna put all these together. Oops, that little piece didn't pop out. There we go, that looks better. We're gonna put all these together with glue dots. And first I'm going to take the little tiny seahorse with a glue dot and put him there like she's holding him. And then I'm gonna put glue dots on the front of the sea plants and put one, oh, that's a little bit too high. Well, and I tore it. That solves that problem, doesn't it? Now it won't be too high. There we go. And a glue dot on the front of this one. Kelp, ooh, Sandy, I like kelp. Yes, that sounds like a good, good word. All right, now, I didn't leave it there. I thought, you know what, we need a little, a little something, something, so. I'm gonna put a glue, not a glue dot, a dimensional right there. And then take some of my gold thread, very fine, thin gold thread. I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers about, I don't know, what was that, maybe six times. And I'm gonna kind of twist it there in the middle to make a figure eight. And I'm gonna set that figure eight down right there on that dimensional. And I don't like those little ends, so we're gonna trim those. There we go. A little make her a little fancier and the last thing is one more dimensional and you put it right there now a lot of fibers there you could add a sentiment if you'd like I always like to add things to the bow if I feel like a sentiment's gonna mess up the design um you could put something kind of straight across or up here but I think just leaving it like that is cute too all right I'm glad you guys like it thank you thank you for the hearts Okay, so that was project number one. Let me move my tray and my trash out of the way. Project number two might be familiar to you if you follow my blog. I am a little bit obsessed with the uh, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. They come out with the cutest things and they always match our stamp sets. So that's what this is. Um, the little unicorn, again, it goes kind of with that bath bomb. They had lots of mermaids and unicorns when I was there. Um, so here is our hand sanitizer holder, and that's what we're going to make. I'm using the sentiment from Oh So Eclectic. The sentiments that are here are a little bit too big for this tiny project, so I'm using You Are Just Lovely, because I thought that went really well with the unicorn, right? All right, so I keep reaching and reaching. Let me get everything out. All right. Now I'm gonna use the blends for this project. And uh, as you know, we've had a back order issue with the blends, but not to worry. It's almost May, and May is when they're coming back. Yay! I think they're kind of staggering them. Um, on our end, we can see 
that they have some dates. Not all of them have the dates yet, but some say May 7th, some say May 14th, and some say May 21st. So if you haven't gotten your blends yet, not to worry, they're coming back soon. Okay, so these score lines, remember they're on this PDF that you can get on my blog. Um, right here is this one. This is a three and three fourths by four and three fourths piece of sweet sugar plum. We're gonna score the long side at one and two and score the short side at one and two and three fourths. Let's move that out of the way. We're gonna need it again here in a second. All right, so burnish your score lines. Get them nice and crisp. If you have your bone folder handy, you can use that. And we're gonna cut these two on the long side like that and then this just folds in like like that it's a really easy construction all right so let's put fast views on those four squares okay and we're going to first fold that one into that one the end into the middle that's what i should say the end tab into the middle tab and then fold up these back tabs like that all right see how that is these are really great if you need to make a bunch of them they're easy now i'm going to cut from this corner right here to that corner so that it's at an angle same thing over here no need to measure just cut no one will be looking how straight your line is all right a piece of the myths and magic designer series paper and it is two and a half by one and three fourths but don't write it down, just go over and get my PDF. All right, so now let's stamp our unicorn uh, and then we'll cut everything out at the same time. Now, before when I watercolored, I told you that you needed to use either the archival ink or stays on, but when you use Stampin' Blends, you need to use the Memento, right? Because the blends are alcohol-based and the memento is water-based. You have to have the opposite. All right, so I'm gonna use pool party here and I'm just gonna color her hair. I like the unicorn. I've used it quite a bit because it doesn't require quite as much coloring as the other two in the set or the other two that we're using today. If you like to color, which I do like to color, but when I am doing like a mass production and I have to do a lot, I don't like to color. All right, so light pool party, and then I'm gonna take the dark pool party and just kind of go along here, kind of fan it out. Go back with a light pool party and blend it in. And of course, she's magical, so she's got to have some wink of Stella. Make her nice and Shiny and glittery, she's so cute. All right, now we can cut her out and the other two pieces that we need. This is the Rainbow Builder Framelits. It's also in the Occasions Catalog and also retiring. You're gonna need the cloud and the cloud edge. Let's put it all on at the same time and it'll just be one swoop through the big shot. Let's get that edge lit set. because he's gonna be difficult. There we go. All right, and we need our unicorn also from the Magical Mates framelits. Now, if you buy the, and we're gonna put the cloud right there. If you buy the stamp set and the framelits together at the same time, you get a 10% discount. So I always recommend that you get that bundle. Make sure you use the bundle item code, which is on that PDF, because if you enter them separately, you won't get that discount. And 10% is 10%, right? Thanks, Kathy, I appreciate it. All right, so let's put this these clouds, I'm gonna actually wrap it around here, like this. And it's a little bit longer, so we'll just trim it off 
And then we need to stamp that sentiment I told you about from Oh So Eclectic. Thanks for sharing, Luann, I appreciate it. Um, and I'm gonna stamp this over on the right side of my cloud in Sweet Sugar Plum ink to match the cardstock. And now all we need are some dimensionals. Put that one hanging off there like that. And put our sassy unicorn like that. And then we're gonna add a little bow. This is the tinsel trim that is over there on that same page with that box framelit. The, I see I can never remember the name of that box. The box of love notes or whatever frame <laughs> or whatever. Let me look, let me look. What's it called? Lots of love box framelits. I don't know why I can't. And then our new our new bundle that's coming out in May. I keep calling it that. I, I don't know. It's all it's all blending in. It's what happens when you have too much to remember. All right. So there's our tinsel trim, and now we just need a glue dot and let's see. How do I want to put that right there? Ta-da! Perfect. And you just put those in there and you can give them out. Great party favors, great for class treats, because um, you know those kids need hand sanitizer all the time. Um, anyway, I don't know, cute, fun. I love hand sanitizers, they're my favorite project to design with. Bath and Body Works does a great job coming up with fun themes and it's always like they know our stamp sets. They know what we need because they always have some stamp to coordinate, yay. Okay, so those were very girly projects. So I thought, okay, we need to do something masculine. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. We need to do something masculine for all those boys. And of course, this stamp set has the knight, and it has a dragon. What else does it have? Um, like a wizard. Here he is, dragon. So it can go both ways, right? Masculine or feminine. So this is my masculine box, and inside, this, I think this would be great party favors. Inside is a Rice Krispie treat sold over there at Walmart in their little bakery area. They have these, um, they're, they're newish. This is the same place I found the blueberry muffin to go with the box that I made when we used the Tutti Frutti stuff. So this box, and if you, you could really put, you know, anything in there. They also have these little birthday cake, like, oh, you know, little pie things that fit here too. But guess who ate them all? Not me, my kids. I have to take, you know, I can't leave stuff in my office because I will eat it. <laughs> so when I find something, I'll take one out and then I'll take the box to the kitchen and just be leave it there. And usually they take care of it. Okay, so let's make the box first. Let me get everything out of the way, sorry. All right, we need, well, I'm gonna have to look at my notes for this one. This is a smoky slate piece of cardstock that is eight and a fourth by five and three fourths. And we're gonna score the long side at three fourths, at three and three fourths, four and a half, and seven and a half. And then you're gonna score the short side at three fourths and at five. Now don't write, don't feel like you have to write all that down. Just go get that PDF, it's there for you. That's why I type it up. So you guys will have it in nice and neat place. Yes, I'm sad to see it go too, Sherry. All right, I'm gonna cut all the score lines along the long side, okay? Up to that other score line that we did horizontally. Don't forget, get those orders in by Monday night and use that hostess code. This is one of the projects that I will send you. All right, now we're gonna put adhesive on all of these square tabs on the front side, okay? This box goes together very easily, as long as you don't stick it to your table first. <laughs> okay, fold this in and pull that side up. Fold this in and pull that side up. Now we're gonna bring the middle ones in too, and that'll be the bottom of the box. 
This is like a mini paper pumpkin box, you guys. That's how it's designed. Now these two, fold them down, and that side goes right over it, just like that. And then it closes like a clamshell. I think that's what they call that, that it goes over. There you have it. So easy, easily adapted, right? Easily adapted to whatever you need. Just change your measurements, and there you have a box. All right, easy. Now let's let's do the, the fun part of decorating it. This is a piece of the Myths and Magic. Uh-oh, ran out of fast fuse. Well, that's not good. Let's see, do I need it anywhere else? Nah, we'll just do some glue dots so I don't have to stop. I don't recommend using glue dots to adhere your designer series paper. <laughs> but we're gonna do it for the video. All right, so this is a piece of Myths and Magic designer series paper that is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And then we're gonna use the best badge punch, which I cannot believe is retiring. I, I just still, I can't believe it. And we're gonna layer all this. This is a pool party heart that I cut out using the Sweet and Sassy Framelits. Again, something retiring. I don't know, is anybody keeping count how many times I've said retiring? It's a lot. I'm really trying to showcase you guys the good things that I just don't want you to miss out on. All right, all those are dimensionals. Now, one thing I did differently earlier when I filmed this is I put the ribbon under the designer series paper. I didn't remember to do that this time. So we're just gonna keep it on the outside. And we will put that. This is Pool Party Shimmer Ribbon. We will put this on top of the ribbon. All right, let's get some dimensionals. Oh no, and I'm running out of dimensionals too. I have been very crafty this week. Lots of stuff going on in the office. Getting ready for next month and getting ready for this. Okay, it's ready. I might as well just tie it, right? This shimmer ribbon is beautiful. I can't remember if the shimmer ribbon is retiring. Is it retiring, you guys? I can't remember. I need to look. All right, let's do our cute little dude. He's so cute. We need, we're using, we're using blend. So I need to get that memento black back. Oh, dimensional papers everywhere. All right, ah, I'm now wearing it. All right, right in the middle there. He's very cute. Um, and my blender there. Marianne, you're funny. I know, well, I do make it look fast and easy because I do this all day long. So it has become fast and easy. But, you know, everyone starts somewhere. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. My daughter's trying to learn how to play Minuet and G and she's really struggling. And her piano teacher told her, the more you do it, even if it's slow, the better you'll get at it. Eventually, you'll be able to do it fast. So that's Smoky Slate Light, Light Smoky Slate. And then I'm gonna go back with a Dark Smoky Slate, just kind of underneath that, um, why can't I remember the name? What is my deal today? I need a nap. Can't remember the names of anything. Shield, under his shield. All right, now back up here with Smoky Slate. My kids are home tomorrow, all day. I don't know what we're gonna do. They like to be entertained. I don't know. We, the reason my kids are off of school tomorrow is here in San Antonio, we have Fiesta Week. It's just a big, long week of parties and parades and all kinds of things to celebrate San Antonio's heritage. Um, and we did one Fiesta event last week, but we don't normally do very many because it's very crowded and very expensive. Um, so there's a big parade tomorrow. They cancel school to have this parade every year. It's called Battle of Flowers. But we're not going to the parade. <laughs> we're going to sleep in. All right, so ivory on the face, smoky slate on everything, all his armor. And now I'm going to use 
pool party here on the shield. And I'm going to add just a little bit of the dark, just down here kind of at the bottom around. There we go. You know, I don't know why I'm using this brush tip. I like to use the other end, especially on small things like this. All right, I'm gonna go back in one more time with that dark pool party down here at the bottom of his little, his little fanciness, fancy part of his armor. And he's ready to be cut out. So go back over to our awesome streamlets here. And he's here. And we're gonna cut him out and we will be done. Lots of color combinations for this guy. You could do it if you had like a family crest. You could do the colors of your family crest. Or if you're having a birthday party, do the colors of your birthday party. Um, also another idea for a male teacher. I know sometimes they're harder to buy for. So you could send him a little treat in here in this box and I'm sure he'd love it. He probably wouldn't even pay attention to the outside, but hey, at least you made it cute, right? All right, there we go, done. So fun. All right, so there is my three myths and magic, magical mates, magical day, whatever you wanna call it, my three projects. I hope you like them. Remember that these are retiring and you really do need to, um, move quickly on especially the framelits and the paper um, because they will be gone they'll sell once they sell out they they're gone um, now the stamp set is is guaranteed through the end of may may 25th but i don't know i don't think i would want the stamp set without the framelit so i would of course encourage you to look at that bundle price and remember too that any orders placed between now and Monday night with this hostess code are going to get these three make and takes for free in the mail. Um, and if your order is $50, you get to pick something from my celebration box. Um, one thing for every $50 that you spend. And you'll also get that all-star PDF, which I know I'm behind. I think it's been over a week since I've sent it out. So I will do that as soon as this is over. And the PDF, don't forget to download that PDF and enter for the prize. And if you would be so kind to share, I'll give prizes for that too. All right, you guys. I don't think I saw any questions pop up. You're welcome, Christine. I hope you like those PDFs. I do take a lot of time to make sure that those are available for you because I know how much you guys love them. <laughs> Trisha says she's a tutorial, tutorial holder. Yay for the tutorial on the holder. Yes, yeah, good. I thought you said tutorial hoarder. I, I could probably consider myself a tutorial hoarder too. All right, so I'll go back. If I see any more questions, I'll answer them within the thread. Um, you guys, my downline, Anne-Marie, is doing a live right now at the same time. She was starting, I think, at 2.30. So go find her, Stampin' Anne. She's awesome. Check her out. And uh, you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you next Friday at 2 o'clock, okay? Thanks so much. Bye.